Hey, how's it going? Happy Sunday. This is like part two from yesterday. Yesterday, oh yeah, that was quick. Yesterday, we showed you how to make a poached chicken in the Instant Pot, which was honestly, it is the easiest thing. Go back and take a look at it. Um, and the reason we did it that way is because we needed some chicken stock. So what we did was we kind of pre-made um, our chicken stock yesterday with the poached chicken. So some of, what's wrong? Get over here. Okay, you're not gonna help me then. Just kidding. Um, so there you are. So what we're gonna do is show you kind of like part two. So yesterday with the poached chicken, Basically, you just fill this up 90% with water over top of the chicken. We added our onions. What's so funny? What's so funny? You want, you see the problem is, is you can't eat these because it's raw. Usually she eats all the ingredients. Uh, so we put in white onions, we put in celery, we put in, hey Shelly, uh, we put in carrots, we put in garlic. No, that's apple, yeah, but don't eat all my apples. Um, and we made the most amazing chicken stock. So. It's so much easier to do it this way um, than to buy stuff from the grocery store. It's so much more flavorful. I even added some rosemary, sage, and thyme to this yesterday so that it's good to go. So we're gonna show you now how to make, what's your favorite soup? Butternut squash soup. Butternut squash soup. It literally is her favorite soup. So we thought, what the heck, this is the time. I was up north. Can you see all these apples? Yeah. I was up north and, whoops. Honeycrisp apples up north where I was driving. Hey Inca, how's it going? Honeycrisp apples in the grocery store. They're like $2.50. <laughs> Good, you're my model. Um, up north where I was driving, I found a farm. That whole bag was like $30. So it was, it was ridiculous. So we do that, this is the time of year. So same as for butternut squash. This is what we're gonna do. And I put the link to our, where we have a bunch of Instant Pot recipes here, but the actual recipe is there as well if you don't wanna go there and be bombarded with all the deliciousness, okay? So this is what we're gonna do. And this is easy, the reason we love this, it's funny, we got into a discussion um, from my post yesterday, a lady saying that she was scared to use this. The best reason to use this is it's basically like dump and go. Um, so, and that's what a lot of our clients have kind of turned towards is the Instant Pot, mainly because we teach a lot of nutrition information and this just makes it easy, right? So, here we go, really fast. The onions, the celery, the carrots are in here already. Esme, you're gonna be my person. I think we can do it all. Dump half of it in first and see, because I always do it too much. Butternut squash, I just cubed it. I'll catch anything you don't make. Oh yeah, we got lots of time, okay? Lots of room, so put that in. Now we're gonna put in, I did two apples. Um, please don't use Honeycrisp apples and put them in there. Those are purely for eating. Um, not at 250 a piece. Uh, we use Cortland apples and a couple can red. I put, uh, yeah, dump it all in. You can move over. And a couple of red peppers. Red peppers? I actually, before you came on, hey Charlie, I actually sauteed a bunch can of the, you can mix, well, you don't need to mix it because it's not on yet. Yeah, um, I actually sauteed a bunch of garlic. What I did was I went to another farm, bought a bunch of local garlic, and I literally just peeled the garlic, put it in uh, a jar with boiling vinegar and sealed it. And I've got like four or five jars of fresh local garlic and it's 10 times better. Anyway, so that's in I there. Uh, we are gonna put that in a sec. Can right you put now? the ginger in? So there's garlic in there, there's ginger in there. That's good, that's it. I wanna think that's too much ginger. Yeah. You think so? Okay, well let's take a little bit out. No. No, okay, we'll yeah. leave it. Yeah, no? no? We'll just leave it, no. we'll just leave it. So, put some ginger in there, that's how we measure. And then the only other thing you're gonna add is salt and pepper to taste, which I try not to until the very end. We'll probably add pepper, but can I put that? Yeah, oh uh, yeah, you're gonna have to hold on a sec, kiddo. Ooh. Once you stop using a lot of salt, you'll notice <laughs> that you don't need as much salt. Your your body actually gets accustomed to tasting the food and not the salt. So you wanna put those in? Sure. One sprig of thyme, one sprig of sage, just drop it in. We're gonna take it out anyway. 
And then let me do this part, sweetie. So this is, as you can see, all the carrots and the celery and everything that we had before. Wait, Daddy, I want to see something. What? You want to lift it up? Yeah. Okay, I'm going to put it in so it doesn't... No, yeah, but i got to drain it, kiddo. Yeah. yeah, it's going to make a mess. You want to try it? Okay, go. You do that one. You make a mess, you make a mess. We just clean it up. Oh, cool thing. When these guys cook, they tend to eat better. They tend to eat the stuff that they cook. So if you have a chance to cook with your kids in the kitchen, try it because they tend to eat the stuff. What are those little balls? Uh, chicken? No, it's not chicken. What is it? It's garlic. Okay, I'm gonna speed up the process, kiddo. No, hold on, hold I on one sec. Okay, so we're gonna put all that goodness in. Again, this is from the poached chicken yesterday. The carrots, the celery. I wanna make sure I definitely get the carrots in there. It's gonna add some good punch of color. Punch? Punch of color, like bam, isn't that colorful? <laughs> and the onions, because it's so delicious. Again, the veggies are what is gonna make this taste delicious. Do you think that's funny? Yeah, ha ha ha. Okay, and then all we're, and then all we're gonna do is top it up with the actual liquid. Now I can mix it. No, we don't need to mix it, kiddo. Right to the max line, and that actually is going to be... Max. Perfect. Is it right at the max line? Yeah. Kaboom. Okay, we nailed yeah. it. So, that's right to the max line. Then what we're going to do is lock and load that, and we are going to put it on manual. Hold on, kiddo. For 10 minutes. Now, this is what you do after it's done, is you're going to take this, you're going to take the sprigs of thyme and sage out, and then if you have an immersion blender, I actually don't even know what that is, but that's what the instructions say. Um, use one of those. I think, it's like a, I think it's like a hand beaters, but a single. We usually just use the um, blender, put it in there and puree it, and then we're good to go. Okay, so that is our, uh, what are you making? Uh, a little piece of butternut squash. Perfect. Um, that is our butternut squash soup in the Instant Pot. Honestly, it's very easy. It's really simple. And if you really want to make great chicken stock and learn how to make poached chicken, which is the easiest recipe on earth, go back to yesterday's recipe and check that out. Okay? Hope you all have a great Sunday. Um, we are going to, what are we going to do now? Uh, cook that. Okay. And then we're going to eat it. Have a great Sunday. Now throw some water in it.